Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of a BAP programming. Our new topic is internal tables. One of the most important topic in a BAP and you will always listen that term internal table. Firstly, the word table is there. It means it is a collection of rows and columns and we all know table stores the data, table store the values, table stores the records. But internal table is a temporary storage of data. It is not a permanent storage of data. It is a temporary storage of data on to which particular layer application layer. So far, we all created the database tables. Suppose we created the order header table, we created the order item table. All those were permanent storage of data. Their data is on the database layer. Those were permanent storage of data. But internal table is a temporary storage of data. On to which particular layer? Application layer. Now, internal table can store any number of records. There is no restriction. It can store any number of records. But the most, most important word is at run time. Suppose simple example. I am running a program. Whenever I will run the program, at that time only that data will come in the internal table. Once I will display the data, once I will display the output, there is nothing in the internal table after that because it is a temporary storage of data. So unless and until you will not run the program, nothing will come in the internal table. And once that data will come in the internal table, once you display the data, internal table is blank. After that, there is nothing in the internal table after that. Now, one of the most, most important use, that's why we have a concept of internal table. Because of that reason, we have a concept of internal table. One of the most important use of internal table is to store and format data from a database table within a program. We will understand this concept. Suppose customer asks us to develop a program. Suppose customer is asking that he or she want a program. In that program, the input will be order number. Suppose we have this order header table. But customer is saying, develop a program using this particular table in which the input will be order number and the output will be details of that order number from which particular table order header table. It means we will give the input, the input from the application layer we will give the input from the application layer. From the application layer, our input will go to which particular layer? Database layer. This stable data, this stable data is on to which particular layer? Database layer. It will fetch data. Once it will fetch data from the database layer, data will come on to which particular layer? Application layer. Now the question comes, if data will come on the application layer, where you will store the data at runtime? Yes, we will store the data in the internal table at the runtime. Then we will display the data and after that there is nothing in the internal table. So this is one of the most important use. Whenever you will fetch the data from database tables, where you will store the data at runtime, 
you will always store the data in the internal table at the runtime. You will display the data. You will format the data because once data came in the internal table, you can format data also. Format, format data means you can display in the appropriate format also. So yes, whenever you will fetch the data, data will come on the application layer and it will store in the internal table at runtime. Now, along with this internal table, we have one more important concept that is work area. Now, what is work area? Work area is also, also a temporary storage of data. And yes, again, it is on to which particular layer? Application layer. The major difference between a internal table and work area is internal table can store any number of records, but work area are single rows of data. Work area always, always have single records. They are single rows of data. And what is the use of the work area? They are used to process the records of the internal table and the one most important word is one line at a time or you can say one record at a time. So the main main use of work area is to process the records of the internal table but yes one at a time because work areas are single record of so what is the summary of the video and what we studied in this particular video? In this video, we studied the kernel topics of ABAP. We studied the heart of the ABAP itself. What is internal table and what is work area? Internal table is a temporary storage of data on the application layer. Data will always come in the internal table at runtime. If you are not running the program, data will never, never come in the internal table. It is a temporary storage. Once your program displays the output, there is nothing in the internal table after that. And why, why we have a concept of internal table? Because whenever you will fetch data from database tables, you need to store somewhere. You need to store the data at the runtime. Where you will store? You will store the data in the internal table. After that, we studied the concept of work area. Work area is also a temporary storage of data on the application layer. But work area are single records of data. And they are used to process the records of the internal table. But yes, one record at a time because work area can hold only, only store one record at a time. Now, in the next video, we will start with the practical part of internal table. How we can create an internal table on the application layer. So that's it in this video. Thank you.